What's up guys, Passive here, back with another video. And this is a showcase of my Discord server cloner. Basically what this does is it copies everything from your server, roles, um, channels, categories, voice channels, uh, permissions, messages and all that stuff. And it allows you to copy them into another server. So to get started, just download the file and then run discord server cloner.exe now just press whatever and do y and then enter a name i'm just going to call it server cloner and then enter a prefix let's just name this clone dot so each command will start with clone dot now if i'll leave a link in the description for this but go over to discord app dot com slash developers slash applications slash me Click create a new app, name it whatever. I'll just name it server cloner for this and hit create app. Then if we scroll down, hit create a bot user. And hit yes, do it. Then if we click token, you can copy this big thing here. Click copy, go back into the command window and just paste that in. Hit enter and then hit yes to auto run. And then you can see that we've got all this. It sends you an invite link here. So if you go that, head back to your browser, paste that invite link in, and then invite the bot to your server. Hit authorize, make sure it has all permissions, and then say, I'm not a robot, and go back here. Now you can see that the bot um, joined the server. And yeah, so now if we go to server settings, roles, and see how server cloner is the second lowest, we're going to put that up as high as you can. Just saves um, any issues happening when in the copying process. Then once you've done that, go back, go to whatever channel you want, and type in whatever prefix you set. So for my case, it's clone dot, and then write save server. It'll save your server. It may take a couple seconds. And then you can see we've got that. It says server saved. So that's all good. And then let's just create a new server. Hit create a server. New server. Hit create. And then you can see we've got this brand new server. Now, before you do anything with this, just hit Actually, we need to um, re-invite the bot again. So just make sure you copy that URL there. And then hit Control C, go back to your browser, new tab, enter that, and then invite it to the new server. Hit Authorize, and then hit I'm not a robot. And then you can see it's been invited here. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit clone.clearserver. And this is just going to set your server up for clearing it. Now it'll give you a key that you have to enter. So just go clone.clearserver. And then if we enter that key, it'll then clear everything from the server, remove all roles and so on. So you can see there's no settings in the server whatsoever. All we've got is a clone uh, role and that's it. So now if we go clone dot show list, you get a list of servers that have been saved. So for this one, we've got the passive monitoring server, which we just saved a minute ago. What you're gonna to wanna to do is copy that, that number there, which is the guild ID and go clone dot load server and then paste that in. And then you can see that it's loaded. It'll go and add all the roles one by one. So you can see it's doing all them. It's giving them all their colors and so on. Now, if we head back, it also gave all the permissions as well. So you can see each one of those roles has its permissions. Now it'll add all the categories and then all the channels and so on. And 
So that's pretty much the basic concept behind it. It adds all the channels back with all the channel permissions, all the categories, all the category permissions. And then as you can see, um, because in the original server, the bot wasn't at the highest, it was unable to put the owner role above it in the new one. So an easy fix for that is just drag it up yourself, save changes, and that's that. Now, um, from this, that's the basics done. And then if we go clone.help, you get a list of the rest of the commands. So we've got clear server, that, that'll clear everything, show that. Show list, that'll show um, a list of all the things that you can see there. And then we've got get overview. And then we paste in the guild ID. And that's like a more extensive version of show list where it gives you a list of all the channels, roles and categories and also audio channels. Um, next we've got notify users test, which basically sends a test message in the channel um, to show like a test notification. So clone.show message test. Uh, show message notify users i mean notify users test and then make sure there's a space there put in that and then whatever um, message you want to send so for example this is the new server and then let's just create an invite set it to never expire will be that and then post it in there and you can see that it'll send that notification there. Now, the same thing works for the notify users command, except it won't send it in the channel. It'll send it to every single user from the previous server. So I'll just do that now. Clone.notify users. And then join the test server if you have roles in the old server so you can see we've just got that join the test server and so on so if i hit that oops um, oh yeah you gotta have the guild id in there otherwise it won't know which server to send to basically but so now we've got that, we've got everything there and you can see it'll say loaded server config and then it will send a message to everyone. Now I'll receive a DM from that. So you can see message from passive modding guild. This message is notifying all logged users of the server passive modding. Join the test server if you have roles in the old server. So that's the message we asked and you can see people are joining the new server. So see this guy's joined he received the message obviously otherwise he wouldn't have had a link and then so you can see kingy he joined back and he was also automatically given his roles as you can see he had that role in other server as well and it basically works like that so it'll automatically give back roles to each person um what else do we have um, next we have load messages. So this will load the last 10 messages saved from the old server. So if we go clone.load messages and then copy that, paste it in there. And then you can see each of these channels is getting sent a big message there. So you can see it'll send the last 10 messages in an embed for each uh, channel. So you can see we've got all those, all those, and it basically works for each and every channel. If there are messages in that channel, it obviously won't um, send if there aren't. But yeah, so that's basically that command over. Um, next we have load roles. Um, that basically just loads all the roles like in here so that'll load all the roles and then reassign roles will give all the roles back to each person 
Um, another command is load bands. Basically, that'll just copy over all of the bands from the previous server. Um, and that's basically it for all the commands. Uh, another one is stats, which basically just gives you um, some stats on the bot, like how many servers it's in and so on. Um, yeah, and that'll basically do it. Thanks for watching and peace.